drills, sandpaper, and hammers. Well, not your usual hammer. I just wanted to simply tune my own piano. For the last 45 years, Ridgely Fisher has worked on pianos, from simple tunings to completely refurbishing over 100-year-old instruments. But his path started on a different key. It was uh, three years of pulling my hair out. As a software designer, Ridgely worked on what we know today as voice recognition. Sometimes I was in there, a cubicle for 16 hours. After days like that, however, Ridgely found something else to occupy his time. I also was working at night in piano shops. After finishing his work on the voice recognition software, he knew one thing for sure. I couldn't sit in a cubicle for another hour. So Ridgely got back into something he enjoys more. Taking a piano that's, that's broken down and just has lost everything and turning it into a magnificent concert instrument again. The career switch posed its own challenges. It sort of has to be a love of life. You know, it can't be something that you get into to make a lot of money because you're not going to make a lot of money. Not every family can afford a piano. It's like having money in the bank, but you can't get at it right away. When you get it, it's great, but um, um, you know, when somebody, there's not a lot of people that have 23,000 dollars to put down on a five-foot piano. During the recession of 2008, that money was sitting in the showroom. The only way I could keep keep floating at the time was to put money on, keep the business running on credit cards. Even faced with debt, his passion led the way. Choosing pianos over software design was because I wanted peace of mind. And you can't always do things that you like to do in life and to make a living at it. And music sure helps. I always had that, um, that song in the back of my head is push on through to the other side. I keep pushing and keep pushing and uh, eventually I break through to the other side. And with persistence, he did just that. I've paid off all my credit cards. I owe nobody any money. Now, after 45 years, Ridgely's ready to change tempo. Uh, when I decided to retire at 65 is when everything got busy. I'm busier than I have been in 30 years, I think. He just turned 65, so retirement may be a few more years away, but he's got a few ideas in mind. Uh, I look forward to slowing everything down and I would like to kind of relax and maybe do four or five Steinways a year. Crofton, Maryland, Matt Hester.